<laughs> so, Brandon, I did hear that you were in this year's internship, and I just wanted to ask, what was the experience like, and, you know, how did, how did you feel during internship? Uh, the internship was great. Um, uh, you know, it really helped me get closer to God before I went to the internship. I just felt like a flake because I, I never came to church, and I never really did anything. But after the internship, um, I felt like going to the morning prayers and going to all the classes and everything, I really grow closer to God. Right, come on, give a round of applause for Jesus. And Brandon, I also know that you were, during internship, or just recently, you, God set you free from a certain addiction. What was that addiction, and what can you tell us about how you struggled with it? Um, I was addicted to tobacco for seven years, and last year, um, there was a prayer line. I was set free from it. I was delivered, but I didn't believe in my deliverance, and I kind of fell back into it. And then I just started lying to everybody, saying, hey, I'm free, you know, God's great. And um, all the while, I just keep doing the same thing. And, uh, and uh, after, at the internship, I was like, no, I'm freaking done with this. Uh, so I went up to Bryce, and I'm like, hey, dude, I need help. Um, I, can't, I can't stop doing this on my own. And he's like, all right. So he prayed for me, and I was completely set free from it. Come on, give him a round of applause for Jesus. Louder and louder. So, Brandon, as you're standing here today freed from the addiction, what can you advise people who are also addicted to smoking tobacco or smoking weed or really any addiction? What can you advise them? Um, don't keep it to yourself. Tell your mentors. Tell your, 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 your host group leader. Tell your, your pastors. Tell somebody about it and just be completely honest with them. You can't hold it in. You cannot do it on your own. Um, seven years, that's a long time. I could not get free from it for seven years. I couldn't do it on myself with my own strength. It's only through God's strength that I got free from it. And it's only through God's strength that you guys are going to get through free from it as well. So go to your, your mentors. Be honest with them. Come on. Give a round of applause.